I've had someone pull out a knife and a huge long machete in my face. Like, when I see the things long, fam, the things like that big, fam. Do I need to now protect myself in case another guy comes and does that to me? I'm not gonna walk on the road and start trying to stab people. I'm fearing for my life. And then if the police stop me now and throw me away, I'm like, yo, what about that man that tried to stab me up, bro? Should you go to prison for carrying a knife? Great. And then we do that one more. I'm tired of seeing mostly black boys on the cover of the Evening Standard every day dying from knife crime. The law is there as a deterrent, yeah? So you know, if you do this, this will happen. If carrying a knife in and of itself will cause you to go to jail, I can't think of a better deterrent than that. I'm not saying here that the law shouldn't exist and people who carry weapons shouldn't be locked up or shouldn't be arrested. Laws are here to protect people. But actually, the laws aren't preventing people carrying knives. Me going to a 10 year old, an 11 year old who's carrying a knife in their pocket, 13 years old and saying, right, you've got a knife and you're being locked up. Boom, done, that's your life, is a problem to me. I feel like something bigger needs to be done. Just looking up everyone, it's not gonna change. Some people carry knives, they've been arrested, been jail, yeah, and they come out and they carry knives in a smart way. A smart way? What, if you're carrying a knife, what are you, you intended to cause harm? What else, what, you're not gonna cut a cake, are you? In the back of your mind, if you get scared, you're gonna use it. I don't agree. I don't, I don't, I don't agree. So you're just gonna keep people, it in your pocket and get rushed? I don't think rushed. people think that far. I grew up in Streatham. I used to be around Brixton. I went to school in Tulse Hill. Sometimes there's no other options. You have to do what you need to do to make money. There's sometimes men feel that, you know what, I need to double up. I need to find a way to make an income and make money. Yeah. And then it, sometimes it, it involves violence. And when it involves violence, you feel like you have to protect yourself because you can't go to the police. Like, if it's like a kid, and he happens to have a knife on. I don't want him to suddenly be in jail for the rest of his life because he was carrying this knife because he was scared or he felt like he had to defend himself. So in that scenario, that's why I said you need to evaluate every situation, but there are some guys who are out there and they were on their way to take someone's life. But then has putting people in prison reduced crime? It hasn't, so we need to think of something but else. Taken, but then it's taken someone who is really dangerous. Right, it's taken but then it's the also street. left about 10 other people still there. The system is flawed. However, there are some people who they've gone to prison and that one person who's gone to prison has maybe saved 10 lives. And if that's what's happening, I'm, I'm down for that. Do you think that we're more aware of it now because it's in the media? Definitely. I was saying this the other day. People have been using knives for decades. But because of the media and it's out there in your face, but you're more sorry, known I've to it. I've never known of a 12-year-old child to be getting stabbed. Like, I just think, no, what has the world come to? Like, how does that even happen? 12 years old. Because I, I wouldn't have gone out at 12. Like, how does that even happen? Yeah, That's not yeah, my nephew's age. That, yeah. Sick. Yeah. If he was to carry a knife, it shows intent. Yeah. And you, you want to prevent the problem before it happens. So that's why the person should be locked up. And that's why the measures should be taken in that way. What do you guys think? It all comes down to education from early. And that's not always the way forward. And fight, fighting fire with fire is never going to be the way forward. So it's a snowball effect, because if someone gets a knife, then someone gets stabbed, then they retaliate and so on, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So. But I feel like the problem is that like our parents, they, they, they live in denial that our children can never hold a knife. Because the problem is so big now, it should be made a sort of thing where the parents actually raise that awareness from home, whether their child An is just a child. Or not, yeah, just school. implement it. Yeah. 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 And parents should stop living in denial, thinking their children are perfect. I remember being in school, and then the olders would rush us in it, just playing around, and some, sometimes it got a bit too far. And people go to school feeling scared, and these are 10, 11 year old kids, yeah, that's not even had really had a life yet, and they would feel scared and need to protect themselves. They'll carry like a little pen now after school. And imagine now then trying to lock them up or giving them a criminal record and now they're, they're disadvantaged because they've had a little fight at school but because they feel so scared and not protected that's why they're doing that man I think you need to look at the exact reasons why man what the discussion really needs to be is why are people out here carrying knives in the first place or why are people in an environment where they feel so unsafe that they need to put a weapon in their pocket what we're overlooking is there is a middle ground between being able to just run around after carrying a knife and being locked up and that's the rehabilitation side and that's the mentoring side. I just think like flat, you're carrying a knife, I'm locking you up for X amount of time. It's not doing anything. Actually, doing in anything. order to deal with the problem, there needs to be something rehabilitative in that. The best thing is if, you're, if you find yourself in a situation where you're, you're a victim or you're being bullied by you know, a crowd of people, the best thing to do would be to seek advice from or seek counsel from 
from the older ones. Okay. Carrying a knife or, you know, or trying to hurt someone who's trying to hurt you is, is just a cycle of vengeance and, and hatred you're, you're just building up. I think that's a really good point.